Hello everybody, welcome to this little tutorial. This is going to be the first video out of a series of videos um, regarding the installation, configuration, and usage of Best Web Interface. I am Carter Roser, the developer of Best Web Interface, and as we've just released version 054, um, I thought it'd be time to make these tutorial videos that I've been planning on making. So. This video is specifically going to be going over how to use the automatic installation process. So uh, to get started, we're going to go ahead and look at the requirements. So VWI runs on all the same systems that Vesta can run on. So as long as you're running uh, Vesta 09817 or newer, you have root access and you're on one of these systems, as well as these uh, PHP requirements and these extensions, then you'll be golden. Um, these will come back later once we get to the actual configuration process. And here we have some of the prerequisites for installation. So you have to create a domain, subdomain, or directory. Um, and this means you cannot use the uh, directory where the current control panel is installed. So it has to be its own domain, or subdomain, or a directory within another domain, but it can't be the default Vesta um, directory. It can also be installed on local host systems. And the directory it's installed in must have no files in it currently. So we're going to be going over the automatic installation method. So this is a domain or subdomain powered by Vesta CP. So we've gone ahead here and uh, created a new domain on our um, Vesta CP control panel. As you can see, it's just a blank domain. So we're going to open up our SSH here, and we're going to go into the directory where this domain is currently. And you'll see right now that we have two files in here, index.html and robots.txt. We're just going to remove these two files. run a list all command to make sure there's no files left in here. And you'll see by refreshing here that there is now no files. So we're good there. Now we can move on to the installation. So as it says here, you're going to enter a blank directory. We already did that. Now we're going to run the automatic installer. So it's this command here. We're just going to copy this command and paste this into our terminal here. Now this automatic installer will make sure you have all the correct uh, software to run the installation. Then it will download all the files and run through all the installation and it will prompt you a couple times for what you need to do. So here it's going to ask you to enter the full web address of your installation. In our case, we're just going to copy this over, paste it like so. This is including the HTTP and the following slash. We'll hit enter and there we go. Installation complete. Please visit your website online to finish configuration. If we refresh here, you'll see that we are now ready to configure Vesta Web Interface. And again, these are those uh, requirements we looked at earlier. So all these extensions and PHP versions will be checked again once you install the software. And uh, if it's green, that means it's correct. If it's red, that means it needs to be fixed. So that is all for the automatic installation. We can continue on to part two to see how to configure Vesta Web Interface.